Hey everyone, today I'm going to be adding the letter guessing and balloon man to my hangman game, Balloon Man. Cause you know, that's kinda important because he's like the main character of the game. So yeah, Balloon Man wouldn't really be Balloon Man without Balloon Man. That's a lot of Balloon Mans. That way you can guess the letter and either miss it, which will draw more of the balloon, or you can get the letter correct and continue on with the game. But before we get into the episode, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and comment and stuff. Yeah, but anyway, let's get into to the second episode of the balloon game hangman series game okay so let's go ahead and add in the key presses so when i receive load new word in the text engine of course we can go ahead and do a forever loop and then an if else checking if key a is pressed now i've tried to find a better way to do this but i just cannot so basically what we're going to have to do is make a if else for every single letter in the alphabet and it's a little bit of a pain but it's the only way i could think of it because the other way is like using a when the space key is pressed or whatever and that's weird so i don't know we want to make a custom block called guess letter with a colon and then an input letter and then run screen without fresh and okay now we want to guess the letter a with lowercase of course duplicate this and then do b and then put b duplicate this and then do c and do c duplicate this and do d and then d and you get the point you go through the whole entire alphabet Okay, so I made it to Z, so I'm just going to change it to an if, and then put Z, and then Z. Okay, so my gosh, that is a thick block, but we have all of the keys being checked. So now in the guess letter, to make sure that this is working, let's make a variable called guest letter like this for all sprites, and set the guest letter to that input letter. Okay, so if we've done everything correctly, whatever key we press should pop up there. So if I press A, okay, I'm going to press Q, K, L, Z, okay. Okay, so you can see that no matter what we press, there we go, it works. Okay, so let's first check to make sure that we haven't already pressed this key. So check if the letters in Word, letters in Word contains the letter. Then if it does, then we just stop this script. Otherwise, we can set it to that. Now we want to check if the word that we're trying to guess contains that guess letter. So add an if else and then do this contains, which is a really handy block, and do if the word variable contains the guest letter like this then if it does then we want to go ahead and make a custom block called find letter so this will find all of the letters that we need to replace so for instance if it is cookie and we press o it should find number two and number three because those are the indexes of the o so just do run screen without refresh and then do find letter okay so now in the find letter we need to do exactly what i just said so we need to store in a list in a bunch of indexes of the found letters so make a list called found letters and then click ok delete all of the found letters in the beginning set i to one so we can iterate through the list repeat the length of the word so it repeats through all the digits in the word then we can go ahead and just check if the letter one of apple and change it to i of word so i of the word so if that current character equals to the guest letter which is the one we just pressed then we'll go ahead and add the i found letter wait no letter is not correct we want to rename it to found indexes so found indexes so we add that to the found indexes and change the i by one after this then we want to set it back to one and do another repeat so we can go ahead and do repeat through the length of the found indexes, replace item one and change this to the item item one of found indexes. And instead of item one, we do item I of found indexes of letters in word with guest letters. Then we want to change I by one. Okay, so let me show you what I mean, how this works. So you can see that the word is wave. So if I go ahead and press A, you can see that it says two in the found indexes because if we go one, two, there's A. So that's the matches. We have a word that has multiple letters like beekeeper. If I press E, 
you can see that all of these indexes in this word has that word. Two and three have it, five and six have it, and then eight has it. And then it should also then replace the letters in word, which is this display one, with that. So you can see that we press E, and all these are replaced with E now. If we press B, that gets replaced with B. Okay, so you can see that this is working. So now we just need to update the visual part. So to do this, after we found the level, let's clear the text. Then we want to go ahead and do the print. So print all of this stuff. And then instead of blank, we want to do the letters in word. Y will be negative 125 and the size will be 100. Okay, so let's show the word. It's banjo. And if I press B, here we go. Look at that. B pops up. If I press O, it pops up. Right now it's fluffiness. And if I press F, yep, look at that. It fills in all of the f's or if i do s there we go it fills that in okay so this is actually working correctly it'll fill in all the correct things okay so this is the condition for winning but what happens in this else well this else is actually when we lose so we can go ahead and just check if not we need to make a new list called missed letters which keeps track of all the letters we've missed so if not the missed letters contains that the guest letter. So if it doesn't already have that in the list, then we go ahead and add the guest letter into the missed letters. Then we want to go ahead and make a custom block called create missed letter. So that way it prints out a new one. This will be run screen without refresh and then put that right here, create missed letters. Now inside of this new word, we want to also go ahead and do a delete all of missed letters right here. So in the beginning, it doesn't have any letters missed. Now in the create missed less letters, we want to add a broadcast clear missed letters like this. Then we want to set the I to one. So it starts back at one, set the I ID to missed that way we can determine what type it is then we want to make it go to the top left of the screen which is at x negative 224 y 160 which is the top then we want to repeat the length of missed letters which are all the missed letters of course so length of missed letters now we want to switch costume to the letter i of word like this so we can just duplicate that and it changed wait no never mind sorry that is totally incorrect the item one of missed letters and changes to the i so it just goes through each one and prints it out then we want to create clone of myself like that and then we want to change the x by a little bit to the right change x by the character spacing which is where's that at right here so this just figures out the correct spacing depending on the size and the character change the x by that then iterate the i by one and once we're done with all that make sure you set the i id back to sprite and not the i the id now it resets everything as the clone we need to do some different code so in the else here we want to switch costume to id that way it switches costume to the correct letter that you missed of course we need to show and you know we can clean this up by just showing in general like that we want to clear the graphic effects set the size to 50 so it starts off small and then slowly gets bigger now to make it slowly get bigger we need to use the smoothing algorithm so go ahead and duplicate this and then we want to change the size by all of that and then take that out and now put that in there we don't want to do the y here we want to do the size so which is 120 you can put whatever you want and then we want to do it minus the size and 0.3 will work well okay so if we miss a letter hopefully it gets added to the missed letters and then a letter will pop up top left so let's do the word here and i'm going to press q and you can see the missed letters is Q, and then a Q pops up here. Then say if I press P, there we go, P pops up there, okay. Then I can press whatever X, and that pops up there. Now there is a little bit of an issue. You can see that each time we do that, it's creating a new one of it, which is very, very bad. It'll create all of them over and over again. So we need to make sure we clear the missed letters. So let's add that in real quick. Add a when I receive clear missed letters go ahead and scroll around until you find this clear text and duplicate that and simply change it to the id equals to missed so now you can see whenever we do this if i press whatever q it pops up there then if i press w there we go there's just one there okay so that's working great now one last thing let's go ahead and add a when i receive clear all clones so this will just clear every clone no matter what so we can just do when i receive that delete this clone and we want to go ahead and 
run that clear all clones when I receive the load new word. So do clear all clones and wait and then new word. Okay, so now we have this all working very fine. Alrighty, so now that we have the guessing working, we can actually very easily figure out if we've won or lost. All we need to do to check if we win is to check each time we get a correct letter to see if the letters in word list, which keeps track of all the characters, doesn't contain any more of these underscores, which is like a blank character. So you can just do if not letters in word contains the underscore character and if it doesn't then we want to just wait 0.5 seconds to add a little bit of delay and then we want to go ahead and broadcast win and wait so just add win in here so that is the win condition the lose condition is just if we miss a bunch of these which will be handled in the balloon man so we need to go ahead and work on the balloon man next so click on there and let's go ahead and make the movement first so at a when i receive load new world we want to switch costume to one which is the very first health which is this one actually then we want to clear the graphic effects make sure that there's nothing on there go to front of course then we want to forever check if else we want to check if the costume number is equal to the very last one which if we look in here is eight so that means that we've lost and let's make it a little cleaner by storing that in a variable so name it max health and then in the beginning set that to eight which is the maximum amount of losses we can have before we lose then in the else here we can go ahead and just do some normal positioning so make a custom block called position stick man like this stick man with a colon then x with a colon and an input x a label y with a colon and an input y now click ok now for now let's just do position stick man in this else at zero zero okay now in this position we're going to do some fancy smoothing and floaty up and down to make it feel like he's actually like holding on in the air so let's do a go to block and first make it smoothly go to a certain position so we can just do the x position plus its current x position then take that times 0.5 so usually we do like a change x by and then you do a minus but if you want to do a set you just do a plus so that's a way you can use that same algorithm duplicate this and then do the y input with the y position and all that now this will just make it smoothly go to the position we want as you can see when we start it'll go to zero zero we can change this to 25 or you know negative 50 and it moves around which is great but i want it to float up and down automatically so we can do this with just using some simple sign math so add on to this the abs of and changes to sign of the a times block here and take the timer times 100 so this will make it move faster and we'll take all that times eight so this will make it move more and then put that in there so now you can see that when we start look at that the balloon is floating up and down on top of smoothly going to the correct position like if i change the y to negative 50 it smoothly goes down there. Alrighty, so now we can move the balloon around. Let's just do an if else in here and check if the costume number is equal to one. Then we want to go ahead and center the balloon. So the X position for this will be 30 and the Y will be 25. So as you can see now, the balloon is in the middle of the screen. Now, if the costume is two, so let's go ahead and do next costume. So this one, then we want to go to the Y20 or the X20. Otherwise, we just go to the center. You can see now, if we start this game and we click next, costume it'll move to the center of the screen depending on the costume now let's add some nice polish so in this else section here like that let's go ahead and duplicate all of this and then instead of the x here we can just do the 100 change this part to a minus the size and then take all that times 0.6 so it smoothly gets smoothly big what am i saying whatever then we want to go ahead and do a when i receive missed letter which is a new one we're making not that one missed is actually a new one called missed letter enter i misspelled that missed letter with two there we go oh my why is it doing that missed why Okay, I'm going to reload this game. In the balloon man, we want to do when I receive a new message called missed letter. Okay, this is not working, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and do a new message and try it this way. So missed letter, click OK. Okay, that's working. So when I receive missed letter, we want to go ahead and do next costume, change size by five. I also have some sounds for a drawing, which 
I'm you won't be able to hear because sound is muted but we'll just play a random one of those to make it cool so just start sound pick random one to five right here so now if we go ahead and go into the text engine all we need to do is scroll around until we do the guest letter and right here we want to add a broadcast the missed letter like this so you can see now whenever we miss a letter say let's show the word and then type in x there we go it pops up x and it actually will switch to the next costume say we do v which isn't there there we go it switches to the next one but say if we type the correct one like if we do g for good game it does not do anything to the balloon alrighty so this is working correctly really quick let's also add some sound for the typing as well so i have a sound called type that i just used the pop sound and edited it so in the very beginning here let's go into the sound section and set the pitch to zero so that way it starts at just the normal sound then we want to start the sound type at the end and change the pitch effect by 10 so it gets higher pitched as the letters go on which sounds like this I think you can hear that through my mic maybe i don't know now there are some issues if we spam some letters in the beginning look at that there it yeah it just it just breaks okay so we need to fix that real quick make a for the sprite only variable called is typing in the text engine to keep track of if it's typing or not now in the beginning we can set that is typing to false because obviously we're not typing then once we do the print custom block set the is typing to true at the very top then at the very very bottom after we've done everything set it to false then around the loop that we check for all the key presses we can make sure that that equals to false so we just put the if is typing is false okay so now you see that we cannot spam it whenever it's typing so if i spam some random letters right now there we go it doesn't do anything until it's finished so that way it removes the risk of breaking the game because people like to break games and that marks the end of the second episode in the balloon game series hangman game but yeah thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a like button and consider subscribing but anyway this has been owen and i am out